Today, we're going to do a quick overview of the HydroWise app, which allows you to program and interact with any model of HydroWise controller by Hunter. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. The HydroWise application and web application allow you to program and interact with the HC, the Pro HC, the Pro C HydroWise, and HCC models of controllers. HydroWise is a program that allows you to manage controllers from anywhere you have an internet connection. It's a powerful tool for homeowners to monitor your system, start and stop watering, drastically reduce unnecessary water usage, saving you tons of money and even sparing you some headaches. For contractors, you can manage your client's controllers all from your office, offering amazing customer service and value. There is a small subscription fee for contractors. You can download the app for free. For this video, I'm going to assume that you've already hooked up your controller to Wi-Fi and you've gone through the setup wizard. Right now, I've got the application attached to uh, Pro HC. I'm gonna leave the controller settings in standard mode. There's an advanced mode as well with a few more options, but for most people, it's unnecessary. Let's take a look at the home tab. If you're not there, press this little home button down at the bottom. In this first block, you can see your zones. Underneath that is your local weather forecast. Information on temperature and rainfall. If you have a rain sensor, rain and freeze sensor, or a flow sensor, etc., it will show up right here and give you info. Right now, that block right there is green. Green means business as usual. If that were red, it would mean that the sensor is stopping any irrigation from occurring right now. And really important at the bottom, this is your controller status. If you have a green check mark, then you're good. So before you make any changes to your program, always check for the green check mark. Let's go back up and look at the zones. So these icons here represent each of the zones that you have set up on your controller. If I tap the icon for one of these zones, I can manually operate the zone or I can suspend watering for a given number of days. So I'm gonna hit the green arrow. Brings me to this page. I normally have this zone set for 20 minutes, so it gives me the option to run it for 20 minutes. I can adjust how long I want the zone to run by playing with the circle here. Or if I didn't want the zone to run, I can skip to one of the other zones here. So let's hit start here at the bottom, and I'm gonna close out of that screen. Now you can see that the icon has changed to a blue one and it's sprinkling water, so I know that the zone is running. If for some reason you need to immediately stop a zone from running, tap the icon and hit the red box. Let's suspend watering for a few days. I'm having work done in the front yard and I don't want the sprinkler to come on for a few days. So tap the icon, I'm gonna hit the pause button, that's the two parallel lines, it brings me to this page. I can hit this button and pick which day to begin the suspended watering. I'm gonna leave it set to now. And I can hit the day that I want the suspension to stop. Hit the suspend button at the bottom and close out of the screen. And now notice that this icon is lighter than the others, indicating that the watering for this zone is currently paused. And if you hit a zone icon and hit the little I button right there, you can see all kinds of information about the zone, like when it's scheduled to water, its recent history, etc. Similar to working with the individual zones, you can do the same operations with all the zones at once. Hit the gear icon right there. Let's do a run all zones. Brings you to this page. By default, all zones are selected to run their normal cycle amounts. You can deselect any zones you don't want to run like that. Uh, and if you want all zones to run for a given amount of time rather than their pre-programmed amount, then you uncheck that button right there and you can choose the amount of time that you want the zones to water. Hit run now. And as you can see, our first zone is going. Let's stop that for now. And I'm going to cancel the suspension. If you hit the zone tab down here, you can see a little information on each of the zones. But you can also customize the zone right here. Hit the little pencil icon, and you can change the name of the zone right here. As you can see, there is a pretty good amount of room to work with. You can put a lot of information in there. 
And you can also pick an icon for the zone. So in this case, I'm gonna use uh, the grass since this is the front yard. What may not be obvious at first glance is that you've opened multiple pages here with lots of choices. You can get to them through the next tab down here like that, or you can use the menu right here. Cycle and soak. It allows you to slow down your watering if you have trouble with a lot of runoff because your soil doesn't absorb water quickly enough. Cycle is the maximum amount of time to run a zone before pausing, and the soak time is how long the pause lasts before restarting the zone. And under advanced, it allows you to fine tune your watering by adding or decreasing the watering time by percentage. Another thing you can do, which you might find helpful, is you can take a picture and use it to identify your zone. So it's a little picture icon here, and select your pick. And if you want, you can go back and select that picture as the zone icon. So now in the home tab, you can see that I've got the picture set as the icon. Up here at top, I can pick programs. This is where the main programming for your controller takes place. Right now, I've only got one program, and that program is set to water Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you hit the edit icon down here, the little pencil icon, once again, you can change the program. You can name your program. I called this one standard. You can name it whatever you want. Now I've got it set on virtual solar sync. There's also time-based schedule, which is standard. If you have the time-based schedule, the zones are gonna run the way you've set them to. Now with virtual solar sync, you don't have to actually have a solar sync sensor. It uses information based off of local forecast to determine your uh, needed water usage, taking into account evapotranspiration. That is figured on rainfall, temperature, and it adjusts your watering times accordingly, saving you money and keeping your landscape in good shape. So let's go to our start times. Right now, like I said before, it's set to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We can change that. Now it's set to Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. You can also change this right here. It's set to select days of the week, but if you wanted, you could do even days, odd days, or interval watering, which is every so many days. Right here, you can change your start time. 5.30 is too early, it wakes me up. There we go, 6 a.m. And you can add multiple start times if you want. So here's your run times for each of the zones. As you can see, I have a different number of minutes planned for my various zones. You don't have to include every zone within this program. You could have a separate program for certain zones if you want it. And schedule assignments. Here's your triggers. Uh, you can set those the way that you want them. There's a grow-in program. Uh, when you're starting new plants or sod, they need extra water at the beginning. So if this program is your lawn getting established program, you could have this program set to start and end on specific dates. That's not what I'm using this program for, so I'm not gonna use that. Under monthly adjustments, you can change how you water by percentage for each month of the year. So I'm gonna have my sprinkler system completely shut off for the months of December, January, and February. So you can adjust each month according to your landscape needs. And we're done here. Let's add another program just for fun. Let's say I want to water my flower beds every day. Hit add program. So let's just have this be a time-based schedule. Uh, the other schedule was Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, so let's make this Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. There we go. And we're going to start it at 6 a.m. And I'm going to select Zone 2 because that's where my flower beds are, and I'm going to water them for 15 minutes. Okay, so there's my program. So I've got all zones for Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. You don't have to do it that way. You can relegate zone two to its own program and water it every day. But I've got it that way, so if I want to run the program one, uh, my flower beds still get some water. So that's our zones and programs. There's another way to start a zone. Down here, the remote tab brings you to the same page as this.
Over here under reports, you have all kinds of reports that you can look at, weather, water usage. So I'm gonna let you play with that. There's way too much to dig into here. In the upper right hand corner, there is a little man icon. That is your multi-site manager dashboard. If you're in charge of multiple sites, you can access anything you need right here, but you do have to have one of the subscription plans for that. So that's the quick rundown of the HydroWise app. It's going to give you plenty of control over your watering schedules. Order your Hunter HydroWise controllers today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.